Hello, welcome or welcome back to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we are going to discuss about spider angioma. Let's get into it. Spider nevus goes by several names, such as spider nevus, spider veins, spider angioma, nevus arenaeus. Arenaeus means spider in Latin, vascular spider. What is spider angioma? A spider angioma or spider nevus is a collection of small, dilated arterioles clustered very close to the surface of the skin. The cluster of vessels are web-like with a central spot and radiating vessels. This is an image of spider angioma and they are usually benign but often can be suggestive of an underlying systemic disease such as cirrhosis rheumatoid arthritis or tyrotoxic process and they can affect people of any ways but they are more easily seen in fair skin compared to the skin of color. What do they look like? Red pinpoint blood vessels measuring 1 to 3 mm which have a feeding blood vessel in the center with a smaller vessels radiating outwards in a spider web like pattern. This is what do they look like. Who gets a spider telangiectasias? A solitary spider telangiectasias is seen in children and adults affecting 10 to 15 percent of the whole population. Multiple spider telangiectasias are seen in pregnancy in women taking combined oral contraceptives in patients with liver disease and in those with Tyrotoxicosis. What are the symptoms? For most people, the, the only symptom is the appearance of the vessel cluster, and they are often found in the distribution of the superior vena cava and are thus commonly found on the face, neck, upper part of the trunk, and arms. They may also be present on the back of the hands and fingers in young children. What are the causes? The causes are not entirely understood. Researchers believe that various factors may result this condition. These factors are exposure to sun, injury, changes in hormone levels, underlying illnesses such as liver disease and spider nevi especially if there is more than one is a common sign of liver disease people with liver disease often have multiple vessel clusters at a time spider nevus commonly occurs when you have a lot of estrogen in your system as is the case with chronic liver disease or during pregnancy Risk factors for spider nevus are age, the older you are, the more likely you are to get spider nevi, hormonal changes, going through puberty, pregnancy and menopause as well as taking hormonal contraceptives may lead to spider nevi. Higher estrogen means higher chance to get spider nevus. Sun exposure being in the sun, especially if you are fair skinned can cause this condition. Obesity, excessive weight, can put pressure on your blood vessel and that could cause spider nevus. And generally, general practitioners or dermatologists can diagnose this condition, but to identify this condition, it's not a di diagnosis itself. The clinical picture should be indicative of whether there is underlying disease that should be investigated. And the treatment options are, in many cases, there is no need to treat this condition, but if you are feeling uncomfortable with this condition, if you choose to have them treated for cosmetic purposes, you have several uh, choices, such as Cryotherapy, the 
use of extreme cold to freeze and removal of normal tissue, electrocauterization are used in surgery to remove unwanted or harmful tissue. It can also be used to burn and seal blood vessel. Intense pulse light is a way to improve the color and texture of your skin without surgery. Vascular laser uh, it is targeting unwanted or abnormal blood vessels in the skin and it could it can treat this condition as well. And this wraps up all the video. Thanks for watching. You can also reach anti-aging foods video from the top right corner.